Okay, everyone, I just had to take a moment and I think this is better as a video than me just um, just sharing photos. And this is, um, I've just did a, a printing session using my five by seven jelly plate. This is the jelly plate that I'm gonna be using in my workshop on October 7th and October 20th at Arlene's Artists Materials uh, on intro to mono printing. But this is what I wanted to share with you. So um, this is called floating. So what I did, I've got paint on my hands. So this is um, the, I don't know how to describe it, like the, the, first, the first print. So when, when you print, you put uh, paint on the plate and then you pull the print with your paper. And sometimes there's paint left behind and that's called a ghost print. So this is called resting, and this is the painting I created off the ghost print of this one. So you can see the imagery is in the same place. Um, the textures are a little bit different because there was more paint on the plate when I pulled this print. And see how vibrant this is? So I added some black um, just to kind of help it pop and give it a little bit more detail. And then I added a little bit of gold on, on the, um, the wings. But on this one, see how the textures are really different because this is more transparent. There's more texture because there was less paint left on the plate. And these are where I think the magic happens. So what I did with this one is I just went in and glazed a little bit with some transparent paints. Y'all, this is why really getting to know your paints is so important in how you can use those transparent colors as glazes because this, it's hard to see. I mean, there's so much depth in this because everything I glazed with is transparent. So you can see through and it just looks like stained glass. So. This is the bright, vibrant, harder edges, more opaque first print called floating. And this is the more ethereal, um, textured, messy, fabulous, <laughs> in my opinion, uh, second print, ghost print, and I call this resting. And then, because there's paint left on the plate, I just rolled it out with my brayer and printed that. And so this will be the foundation. Maybe there's a landscape. This kind of looks like a tree in here to me. So I'm just going to let this dry and see what that might evolve into. But, you know, we're going to be talking about how to make art with your jelly plate. Not just collage papers. Collage papers are awesome. And, in, in, you know, I've got some here that are my brayer clean off pages. Um, so don't get me wrong. I mean, you can do lots of really, really cool stuff in that way. But what we're going to be focusing on is how do you make art? And um, there's so many things you can do. Again, first print, first pulls, or use your ghost prints or even your first pulls as a background, as a backdrop, build onto it, layer onto it, embellish it. You're going to have so much fun. And these textures that you create, are they're just they're unparalleled like you just you can't recreate that um so like look at just this oh i just love it anyway i digress okay so um enjoy happy printing it's october if you're following the prompt for our leans today's day three creature so that's where these are coming from these are my creatures um wish you much joy lots of magic and hopefully i'll see you in one of my classes intro to mono printing october 7th and uh, October 20th. See you soon. Bye.